All right, welcome back to another learning how to press comic books video. This is kind of a continuation of me trying to uh, really get the best and the most out of a particular book that I can. Uh, I've been practicing with spot humidity and working on some free comic book days. I made a video about uh, my attempts and practice with one in particular, the, the free comic book day tick. Uh, book, but uh, I'm ready at this point to give it a try on the Nice House on the Lake book two. This is a book that I was working on where I just gave it a quick press with no humidity and the results were better, but there was still that corner issue. So let me take this out of the bag and board and show you. I originally graded this book as an 8.5 and felt like it pressed up to at least in the 9-2 area. This is the corner issue right here that I am trying to work on. And before I just went, before I just gave this book humidity, I wanted to try out some other books first just to see how much humidity is needed and so on. I think the book looks pretty clean otherwise. I really, uh, you can check out my other uh, video for more detail, but um, the spine looks really good. To me, in my opinion, uh, it's this, this corner down here, uh, right in here, that is uh, preventing it from getting a 9.8. Um, certainly even on the back too, by the DC logo. Um, right on the, the corner, there's an issue right in here where you can kind of feel it to touch, but it's about maybe a half to three quarter inch. So that's what I'm trying to work on. Um, I feel like I've got a pretty good handle on the spot humidity technique. Um, but uh, give you one last look at that corner right there. That's what I'm trying to uh, improve on. And so we're going to go ahead and give this book a little bit of humidity. All right, I've got my Pure Steam mobile steamer ready to go. You can see and hear it bubbling there. I can, uh, ooh, that's hot. All right, so I'm gonna just focus on that corner. Now I placed it in the sandwich one last time, just one last little bit. And I'm just gonna go ahead and get the rest of the spine too while I'm here, just a little. That should be plenty. A little bit on the back, all right. Everything's curling, so that's enough right there. All right, now off to the press. All right, I'm back at the press. I've uh, prepared the sandwich here for the book. So I've got it in here. I decided to use just one backing board this time with this book. Uh, I did get some feedback about using two I thought it was a uh, general rule of thumb that if uh, the staples were high, you should use two magazine boards in the middle, but I got some feedback um, that said that's not always the best idea. So I'm going to give this a try with one. I did notice that it had those, uh, those sort of like pressing folds, I would say, on the spine, just that, that line that goes up and down. Um, when everything not is not perfectly flat. So I'm going to give this a go with a single magazine board in the middle, the cardstock paper between the front cover, first page, last page, last cover, and then SRP on each side, and then a final magazine board on each side with the glossy side facing the book. All right, the press is warmed up and ready to go. take the bottom board but trying to keep everything to sit right on the plate. I use a plate on the bottom and then I'll use one more plate on the top. Close the press and it'll stay in for about five minutes and then it will cool off. I'm gonna let this one cool off overnight so we'll check on it uh, tomorrow morning. All right here we go. The book has been in the press, cooling off under the cold press for uh, not quite 24 hours, certainly overnight, so I'd say maybe somewhere between 
12 and 16 hours. I'm really anxious to see how this turns out uh, with that spot humidity treatment, so let's go ahead and take a look. I'm going to open the press very gently, and I'll take out the top plate and the top SRP and magazine board. And finally the book. All right, here we go. And let's turn it over and see that corner. What do you think? Much better, I think. Would you agree? Now again, <clears throat> one thing that uh, <laughs> as soon as I feel like I solve one thing, I've got to learn how to deal with another. You'll see just how, I mean, right here, if you, if you look at how the, the boards in the paper are put in there, right up against the spine, what this ends up doing is very subtly adding this line on the spine that goes up and down the book. And this is where I'm looking at uh, possibly making or buying a chamfered board to help with this, to help with the curvature of the spine because it, it, it ends up trying to almost square it off. The corner though looks fantastic. This looks so much better. Now I'll take the magazine board and two pieces of paper, the cardstock out of here. It did stick just a little bit, which has me a little concerned, but should be okay. It should be a little crunchy. And you can hear that as I as I curl it up here. So there you go, right there on that corner. All the issues with that, I would say, are pretty much gone. Yeah, it looks really, really nice. The one thing I noticed with the humidity, and I really thought I jacked the book up and, and wanted to see how it turned out, is right here where the light is shining, I felt like the steam that I put on it actually became a bit much and sort of liquefied right there on the book and discolored it but I really don't see any discoloration so I I feel like it was just the heat almost um, I, don't, I don't know how to describe it but it really felt like uh, there was some sort of stain but I don't see it now and that was one thing I was going to point out if I did end up staining the book I was going to point that out and say yeah I probably added a bit too much humidity but here now that it's gone and I'm trying my best to get it in, in the light. Hopefully you can see this by now. But it looks like a very, very rigid line that goes up and down the spine there. That I, I feel like it sort of relaxes on its own over time. Uh, you don't really see it too much on the back. The, book, the back looks really good. Um, it still has the issue that I'm seeing and this is hard to get into focus, but right here on the DC logo, right on the corner, uh, I'm noticing just some slight denting still from the impact. And I don't see that coming out really with any sort of press. I could try the humidity treatment again, but I feel like that's just going to be in there. So I, I still feel like I would max this book out as a 9.6, but... My concern now is just this up and down the, the spine. I think just to be on the safe side, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my cold press board. I'll set it there. And I'm going to take the cold press board and just lay it on top and probably just leave it like this for a day or so just to see if I can get out, get that... Uh, Whatever that is, that, that sort of line or, or, or dent or fold that's happening from the press, I need to figure out that part and, and get that part working a little bit nicer. But uh, yeah, it looks great. Uh, certainly took out that corner. Again, I'm, I feel like as soon as I'm solving one problem, I'm looking at another. So these, these are the steps. This is the process that I'm going through. I hope you enjoyed that, learned uh, some things from my experiences and mistakes. Uh, thanks for watching, happy collecting, and see you next time.